Hey guys, it's River Dave, 2022. We're out here at Super Cat Fest in Lake of the Ozarks. Beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Yep, always then, nice here. A little humid, but it's nice. Don't even need to introduce him, but for those that don't, for the three people on earth that don't know Tony, this is Tony Caramani from That's DCB. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or yes. AKA Tony Tomlinson. Yes, yes. Hi, everybody. So Glad you're here, Dave. Glad you're here. Yeah. DCB has got the entire dock. Yep. At so Super nine Cat spots Fest. here. Yeah, nine boats. Yeah, that's it. The whole freaking row here. Yep. So those other boats we can get kicked out of here tonight yep, or tomorrow. Yep, yep. And what did you guys bring? What did you DCB bring this year? Um, well, I'm, I'm delivering. This is kind of our latest and greatest, but I delivered it to a guy named Brian. He's out of Ontario, Canada. So they literally drove down here, power drove it 17 hours, and they got in yesterday. Took mm -hmm. a power nap, and we took him out for the first time, and he's blown away, you guys. I got. Uh, Numerous demos set up in either this one or Greg and Yvonne are letting me to use theirs, which is great. And um, really just, it's, I was thinking out loud this morning by myself and it's weird, you guys. We kind of, I don't want to say we were late to the dance, but we, we wanted to come with something and, and bring our DCB kind of quality fit and finish into this true tunnel East Coast Midwest market, you guys. And, and it's more people are coming to me now and want to see the boat in person, touch it, feel it right in it. Well, there's got to be a ton of curiosity, right? Oh, it's it, but it's 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 almost coming full circle because I don't like to, you know, we're 15 boats a year, you guys. I mean, we try to keep them super nice, keep the quality super high, and that's kind of where we are right now until we finally try to get a bigger facility. But right now, you guys, about 15 boats is probably our max production. We keep the doors open at that. We pay our guys really well, and and uh, that's what works for us, and it keeps the quality high. So we're about a four-week rig job on this and other people can get them done in seven to 10 days. And it's not what we do. Yeah, so no, the rigging is, that's, that's. It's, the and the interior deal. and, you know, it's weeks, you guys. It's, everyone asks me how long it takes, you guys. So from, in a five gallon can, it starts gel coat. And between gel coat, taping the mold, gel coat, lamination, which is all vacuum infused. The boat's all, this 37's all carbon and foam. You can do any boat like that, but this one's standard that way. Um, this boat here is right about 700K. Um, and, uh, it's the best of the best. So it's, um, it is, it's about a three to three and a half month process start to finish by the time I, it goes out the door. Yeah, I've seen some of the things like just talking privately and you're like, Dave, this boat's got like 4,000 man hours yeah. in it. And literally you could add up all oh, the yeah. hours from, you know, from the upholstery oh, yeah. guys to this, that. It's, it's really crazy. But the attention to detail, like you said, a second to none. Mm -hmm. Something that I think is really cool is you guys, as a company, are actually going to Catalina Fun Run this year. Yeah, yeah, we got like four or five 37s going. I got Bryce Menzies, Greg and Yvonne are pulling their boat out from here to California. Mm -hmm. He's going to do the regatta too. Okay. Um, you doing the I got regatta? Danny, uh, yeah, he might. He's going to be there for that. No, okay. I don't. Well, I don't know if he's going to be there for that. So okay. I'll check with him. Okay. But he's going to be there for the 23rd for sure, which is the weekend after yours. Okay. And then. Um, yeah, Bryce Menzies, I said that, uh, Danny Hale. I got Mike Demore is gonna take his 37. I'm probably gonna drive it for him, which cool. he's really cool with. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. We got hotels out there and it's gonna be a two day event this time instead of one, so I'm looking forward to that. I think, you know. Chris and Shelby are going too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the idea of, you know, for years and years and years online, people just, oh, it's a lake boat, it's a lake boat, it's a lake yeah. boat. This uh, is not a lake boat. No, it, it, this it, is an everything boat, you, it's an ocean we're boat. We're a lake a, right now, but yeah. it's pretty snotty out here and it's, yeah. it's a good boat for here. Yeah, no, it's just a wonderful boat. Like I said, the article I wrote on this, I was like, you know, yeah. flip phone meet yeah. iPhone. Yes, right? yes. This was like a, it's Make a game it changer. Yeah. yeah, it really was, you guys. And we're building, so we're on number 14 here, and I think I got 15 or 17 in front of it. Yeah. So we got a nice little backlog, just enough, not too much, and we're trying to stick to that 18 to 20 months of backlog, and we're actually kind of slowly catching up, you guys. We're just getting a little more streamlined, and obviously, you build one more, you build one more, you pick up a little time here and there, just trying to make it a little more refined, and. We got a guy full time now that's doing nothing but wire harnesses on the bench. So they're hanging up ready to go. So, so. here's a question for you. That you guys have the M series, the 41 and the 44. Yeah. And Mauricio's got the green and white ones, yep, that correct? Yeah, he'll be on the street fair tonight. Yes, that boat is actually that's my favorite DCD. Yeah, really I love nice that boat. boat. Yeah. It is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. When it's up on the tilt, it's oh, all God. lit up it'll green. Be all lit up tonight, yeah. That first thing, matches, I saw yeah. that thing at Desert Storm and I was like, dude, that is that's a showstopper, mm -hmm. right? But how, how, in terms of sales, how many IOs versus outboards are you guys doing right now? Because I, I mean, that's a great question, Dave. I bet it's 70% outboards. Yeah. You know, the 28 and the 33 are still pretty popular, but there you go, a lot of them have been open bows. So a lot yeah. of people kind of want to turn that into a deck boat. I just delivered a nice one from a guy that came out of an MTI. It was kind of cool. I just delivered it at Discovery Bay, that seafoam green and white and silver one. Yeah. And I got one right behind it. It's a closed deck. And then I have one right behind it. That's a drop-in bow rider. So the 33, I got three in a row. So yeah. it's still a great boat. So that 
I still totally believe in our center pot stuff. It works really, really well. But you know, if you want to kind of get out here and really get in the bumpy, crummy, misdirected water, I mean, it's apples and oranges. So it, it's whatever your flavor is. You know, it, it's almost like chocolate vanilla. You know, the true tunnels of vanilla and our, our center pods of chocolate. But like you get into these 41 and 44s out here, even our 31s and 35s, you got a couple here. Jeff Clark's here in his 31 1100s. He's doing the shootout. Yep. You know, it'll probably run really good. So speed wise, they're right there, but it's just, uh, it is, you guys, whatever your flavor is. There's a he lot of good qualities be, uh, about that. He actually used to be like, like a power poster on my website. He used to post yeah, all the time. Yeah, he had an time. Ultra. It came out of an Ultra. Yeah, he yeah, had a, with a, a team Ultra motor Stealth in it. with mm -hmm. a T-motor mm -hmm. yeah. And he, then he had a place down in Parker, and he bought this for that 35 or that's 31. 31, excuse me, for down in Parker. Yeah, and he ruined and I was a like, set of props. Dude. Yep, yep. He got a set of props down there, and he decided to go to Havasu. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the cruise speed on that boat's too high for yeah. Parker. You're going to run somebody over that damn mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have a place in the Keys. He sold it. Yeah, yeah. Because kind of goes close to you. Yeah. Anyhow, guys, Tony Cheramani, DCB, Lake of the Ozarks, and uh, Super Cat Fest, man, 2022. Yeah, it's really been a great time. Great to so have far. you guys. Thanks for coming out for the West Coast, dude. I like to see the West Coast. And more and more out here, too. I, we got uh, JP Tonum, and he's got that new Outer Limits. Yeah. He's here just checking it out. I was like, where's your boat? He goes, you know, Tony, I just wanted to come and kind of check it out, but I'll be here next year. So it is. It's, it's like uh, evolving, dude. So more and more people are coming out. It's not that bad. It's only about a. 15, 20 hour drive if you want to superman it. But you know, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's one or two sleeps is what I say, depending on how far you want to push it. But it's, it's a 12, 14 hour day, two days if you want to do it. But I, I like to do two sleeps if I drive because I've done it before, but it's not horrible. On Sunday when we were leaving, my buddy Tyler goes, hey man, should we bring your boat? And I was just about to say yes. And I was like, you know what? No, we'll Let's be fly. all right. Yep. We'll fly, you know, yep. so. And I got I had a horrible dude Monday on the flights because it rained nine inches in Dallas. Oh, no. I was, oh, I didn't get here till 11 o'clock, but I made it. I made it Monday night, and then uh, they tested this boat, and we got some good hilo shots from Tommy Gunn, and it's, yeah, we're, we're excited. We're great, great event. All right. We're here every year. Thanks, Thanks so much, Dave. Tony. Okay, brother. All right. Thanks, guys. See you guys.